Who likes worms? I do, when it's a cute little inchworm that we make out of polyclay. It's a lot of fun. Join us! Hi, this is Tweek. Today I'm going to work with polymer clay. I'm going to make some inchworms. Why would I make inchworms? Because they look great sitting in plants and they're just very cute. Supplies for today's project are an assortment of polymer clay, your choice of colors, some beads, and some pins that you'd use to make jewelry. You will need an oven and some shellac and that will finish the project. This is a great project for kids. Uh, you can make any kind of worm any length you want. I picked out six one ounce chunks of clay and I stuck to the blue theme here. I'm gonna cut them in half and start working with the clay. The clay is a little bit stiff when you get it out of the wrapper. And so I just mold it with my hands. I just warm the clay and then roll it up. And what I'm looking for is chunks. Each one ounce chunk will become two hopefully similar sized balls. There we go. And I'm just rolling it up. And I'm going to do this for each color. I'm going to take each one ounce block and make two balls of the same color. And here we go. Now always remember when you use polymer clay to use a non-porous surface for your clay because it does have color in it and the color could stick to fabric or wood. See my hands are starting to pick up some of the color. It all washes off. This is turning out pretty nice. How long do you want your inchworm to be? Well, an inchworm is an inch, right? In my little polymer clay cartoon world, I make a lot of different little creatures and I'm going to make them bigger than an inch. They're so adorable next to a plant or in a plant and they're not scary like some worms are. <laughs> so now I'm going to simply squish these together and see how long I want my worm to be. We have to decide which end will be the head and which end will be the tail. I want a bit of a curve. Inchworm measures up, flattens out, measures up. It looks like his head is going to be blue. So I'm just gently pushing these all together. If I roll them too much, they'll start blending into each other and I don't want to do that. Now I'm going to fashion my worm. So this will be his head. And then I'm going to bring him up a little bit. And then bring him back down. So what I'm going to do is squish these upper ends here. Start working with your clay. And then I'll use the white White really flattened out, didn't it? That's okay. And I'll use this, just a part of it. I don't want that big of a tail on him for the end. What does an inchworm tail look like? I don't know. Should've looked it up. I'll just put a little end on him. Okay, so. Using my thumb to put like an arch in there. So the, the clay will do just about anything you ask it to. So I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to make an arch. Like that. And come back a little bit in the center. And then his head. Let's give him a little more of a neck area. Ha <laughs> ha. And I'm going to add some beads to give him some sparkle. There we go. And let's work on his face first. Okay, little worm. What's your face going to look like? Well, it's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to take two beads and give him two big eyes. I'm going to go towards the top of his head. And I'm going to punch him in gently. So you can see the indentation into the clay. And I'm going to take one of these jewelry wires. Let's see, just punch it straight in. And then you have a little dot for his eyeball. <laughs> there. 
Betsy, isn't that cute? And the pin stayed inside the clay, which is good. Now I'd like to give him, I want, I had the tiniest bit of yellow. I want to give him a few yellow markings. Don't ask me why, I just thought of it. Thought that would be cute if he had two little yellow eyebrows. Give him some character. What do you think? Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay. You now have eyebrows. Looking for a very giant marigold, as inchworms like. Okay, we got his little eyebrows. So I'm going to use this nutcracker tool, use the flat of it, and dig in and pull up. Come on the other side, dig in and pull up. And you end up with a cute little mouth. There we go. Not done. I'm going to take some pink. So he's all in blues, but I wanted to add some color on the front. And I'm going to get him a couple cheeks. If it makes you smile. There. Does he need a tongue? I don't think so. Oh, you know what? He could use a couple of nostrils. He's got to breathe, right? So to give him a couple little nostrils, I'm going to take the same pin and I'm just going to cut a little bit and nub it up left. And I'm going to use these as nostrils. i put one on this side. <laughs> and then I'm going to put one on the other side. He now has nostrils. I don't know if they have nostrils, but mine do. So, Or... Take advantage of that little mark and make it look like a real nostril, a bug nostril. That's what we have so far. He's getting cuter. Now we need antennas. Before I put those in, I'm going to add some beads to his back. You want to use glass beads or ceramic. They won't melt in the oven. And I'm going to punch one there. And let's see, got a pretty blue one here. I'm just adding a little bit more color to him. See how cute? And I'm going to put one more down here and I'll go over with another of that color. I'm going to put that at the end. Don't ask me why, I just like to. There we go. Now we need to put in some antennas. And two more of my bead pins. Now these are cute because they have a little circle at the top rather than a ball and I thought that would be cuter for an antenna and these are going to stick out a ways so I'm just going to see where I want them on the head and just give them a push in and there you have it now is there anything else I want to do to him before he goes in the oven see how the clay is all sticking together you can smooth things down a little bit if you want I feel like you need something. I think I know what it is. It's going to sound really silly, but I'm going to put a couple stripes on him. I don't know why. I feel like he should have one. <laughs> yep, see, I knew he needed something. He needs a stripe there. And I think he needs a stripe. Or else do you want your stripes? You just take the clay and you just your fingers meet in the center and push out and you end up with a long strand. I'm going to decorate his front a little bit. I'm going to give him a couple of stripes, almost like a bumblebee. I'm going to add a yellow stripe. Well, I'm starting to like him now. Thin that out a little bit. Tack down the white. So this worm's getting a little fancier, isn't he? And where else would we like to add some color? I think I'm thinking on the tail. I think he's got leftover yellow here and I think it would be really cute if he had a couple of yellow marks on his tail. Just play around and have fun with the clay. And I got a little bit here. Let's do one more. I like that. I think we're going to stop and put him in the oven and get him baked.
He's out of the oven. He's baked. And he's kind of cute, isn't he? There he is. He's got a little bit of shine to him, but I want to put a little more. Oh, good. The antenna stayed in. Everything looks good. Let's give him a dunk. He's so big, I'm going to have to do a side and then a side. So here he goes. Say good night. I can get almost his whole body in there, but not quite. You can see a very nice before and after, though. See how the shellac really brings out the color. So I'm going to let him sit for a moment, and then I'm going to dump the other side. So here. And dry out a bit. I want to dunk his other side too, so to speed up the drying, I'm going to put a hair dryer on him. Okay, dry enough. I need to dunk the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just got to get his tail in there. So here's today's polyclay project. I've done dogs and frogs today. I went with worms and didn't that turn out sweet? I know a little guy who's gonna have this little worm. Maybe it's a bookworm sitting on his shelf. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. You had a bookworm in your house? Well, at least you can make the worm. See you again. No! <laughs>